this video i'm going to show you how we want to for multi time frame multi instrument indicator or ninja trader ninja trader is a very powerful platform that you can download free and uh, use to develop indicators and trading strategies so in front of you is pound yen 15 minute chart ninja trader gives you the chance to have custom time frame for example you can have even a 16 minute chart 17 minute chart 22 minute chart it all depends on you you can code your indicator and trading strategies on Ninja Trader and using C sharp language. C sharp language is uh, a very powerful programming language that uh, you should learn. If you know a little bit of programming, you can easily learn C sharp. We don't have to learn everything that is in C sharp. So, indicators on ninja trader so here i have just installed this uh, d1 indicator and uh, monitoring this uh, chart in fact this d1 indicator is monitoring 28 currency pairs and uh, on four time frames. Just uh, I installed on this D1 one chart and smart monitoring 28 currency pairs from this single chart. Unlike MT4 and MT5, here you have to open the charts for each pair. Open this indicator. This is the indicator for, uh, folder. If you want to develop an indicator, right click on this folder, new indicator, and visit. And up here, create a new indicator. So you can then name that indicator, write description. It will appear here. This is that uh, allows you to open the code and visual studio I'll, I'll work in visual studio just to give you some idea that uh, how to code indicators this is that uh, compile button once you click on it it will compile This indicator code has been opened in the visual studio. The D1 indicator first we define variables. One variable pip. Currency pairs array. See, we have got uh, this 28 currency pairs. We have defined an array. All these kinds of pairs are there. Here we have, we have the description for this indicator. This is just a very simple indicator. Whenever a bar gets formed on SMA 50, it will give an alert. On 15 minute chart, 20 minute chart, 30 minute chart, and 1 hour chart. And it will calculate on bar close. So when the bar will close on these four time frames, it will then calculate about that time frame. Take 
configured. Here we have added the time frame data series. For each currency pair, we define this 15 minute data series, 20 minute data series, 30 minute data series, 60 minute data series. And the for loop that will go over each currency pair. Now this is a function pip point just to calculate the pip by each currency pair. For example, on uh, euro dollar, pound dollar, and other pair, this will point zero 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 one and on yen pairs like pound yen, euro yen, it is point zero one. Now this is that protected override void on bar update method where we do all the calculation. So we iterate over each currency pair in the list that I shown you earlier. This is the M15 chart where this we check this bar for that thing, for that M15, grant bar is less than loop data, so that we have full number of bars, alert zero, check pattern, just a function that has been defined, signal alert, alert. So, this in between these two curly braces, is all calculations are made on 15 minutes. Yeah, all these data series are independent of each other. Now, this is M20 for bars in progress. No, well, the subtle point is this thing, bars in progress. And we added the data series. Each is for data series are being repeated for each currency pair. This is the first uh, zero data series. The first, the second, the third, and so on. So we have to tell the indicator accordingly that which data series it should call for making the Calculation. If you call a wrong data series, then of course you can't search. So the M30, just like before, and this is H1. These are the properties. Define property just to look back. Property number of bars to look back. This is the pip point calculator function that I used in the beginning. This is the chart pattern. Just see SMA flow zero. When this bar closes, it makes this calculation. And this is a signal alert. Name alert, it gives sound. Then 
Blood is calculated. When there is a signal, the ninja script generated code output whenever we have a signal. Tell us that on zero and sixty minutes we have got signal. Dollar system sixty minutes we have got the signal. This simple indicator. Just wanted to show it is due to for multi time frame, multi instrument indicator. It could have been, have been 100 instrument, it could have been uh, 20 time frame, it could have just made all the calculations. Just SMA 50, when a path forms on SMA 50. Then it will give an alert. This is a little bit complicated indicator. Just same, it uses the, you see, daily H16, H12, H10, H8, H6, H4, H3, H2, H1. So it's properly paid. Time frames and uh, Just same thing. Add data series for each time frame. Then there is an array. And here we just define this different pattern. See, so for some chart pattern. So you can. For mm -hmm. multi time frame, multi instrument indicators on Ninja Trader, it's very easy and it's no by just getting the code. 